What's up everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what is wrong with first person shooter games. This is my genre, okay? And this genre has been absolute shit lately. I need to, you know, I need to take a drink. Frozen strawberries instead of ice. Highly recommend, by the way. First person shooters. What is going on with first person shooters? Okay, so we had a good 10 year span where every fucking game played like Call of Duty. Like, Call of Duty's cool. Like, that's it. It's kind of cool. That's it. The game plays the same. All the Call of Duties, they got a, a couple different skins, maybe a little different weapons. You move a little tiny, eensy, beensy, weensy little bit different. And the game is still the same. For like about 10 years, every game copied that shit. And I did a video on why gaming sucks now. One of the main reasons is when a game like Call of Duty gets hugely successful, all the other games try to copy it. And it's fucking wicked annoying if you're looking to play other games. If you're looking for a new shooter, right? Why would you go buy another shooter if you want to play Call of Duty? You would just go play Call of Duty. And so... Because that was so successful, all these companies just tried to make their own Call of Duty, and obviously it sucked because, first of all, Call of Duty in the first place, it's not that great. It's just casual fun. And let me, give me one second. I'm talking about the multiplayer, competitive online. I'm not judging the campaign. I'm not even judging zombies. I'm judging the, the multiplayer PvP aspect of it. I should have clarified that, but now I did, so we're good. There's not a lot of games that have a unique multiplayer aspect. Anymore. Period. There just isn't. They had the the Call of Duty era, right? That was the era up until about 2016, 2015, 2016, honestly. Then in 2017, it was around then, Fortnite came out. And Fortnite's huge. I like Fortnite. It's better than Call of Duty, in my opinion. You can hate on me in the comments. That's fine. I think Fortnite at least has something new to offer. It's third-person shooter. You can hold a bunch of different weapons. You, the building aspect, the closing in. It, like I, I realize it's not the first to do any, any of those individual things, but to put them all together and make a hugely successful game, yeah, they're the first ones to fucking do that. So shut the fuck up about Fortnite. It's a good game. It's successful. Get over it. It's better than Call of Duty, at least. But now... <laughs> The Call of Duty effect, or the Fortnite effect now, now all the games are Battle Royale, which is like, <clears throat> like, dude, Battle Royale is cool, but you know what? Hold on a damn minute. They're not that cool where you have to make every game a Battle Royale. How about some fucking futuristic first-person shooters like Halo, Call of Duty, uh, <laughs> Halo, Perfect Dark. How about we got Crisis 2? Quake, Unreal, these are shooters, my friends. We need to bring back first-person shooters in the aspect of arena shooters, all right? If you want to play competitively, you should play competitive shooters. Call of Duty is not that competitive. Fortnite's com more competitive, in my opinion, but it's still... Uh, it's still there's, there's, there's a lot of variables and, and you know it's like 100 people and you get the squads it's not it's not as competitive as Halo Quake or Unreal in my opinion or Perfect Dark when it came out the new Perfect Dark I'm telling you if this game ugh, I'm just I'm fucking waiting dudes dudes and dudettes I need Perfect Dark to be good because that's my favorite shooter next to Halo, Quake, and Unreal. Especially considering it came out on the N64. Goldeneye came out, awesome game. And then Perfect Dark came out and it was like, boom, awesome er game. Perfect Dark capitalized on Goldeneye. It was like a futuristic Goldeneye with aliens, alien weapons, and then it was gone, basically. They came back 360, Perfect Dark Zero. It, it sucked. Oh, you know, I gotta, I gotta take a drink for that one. Oh, F in the chat. For Perfect Dark Zero. Sad day. Sad day when that came out. It didn't live up. But you know, it happens. Now that they've announced a new Perfect Dark. <laughs> you knew I was coming to it. We are going to have another futuristic first person shooter. And I hope so freaking badly. So freaking badly. That it is good. And it's somewhat like the original. 
I don't want it to be exactly the same game, but they need it to be good. They need it to be good. Okay. They need it to be somewhat like the original when it comes to play style. When you hop in the game, they need to have different game types, different modes, plenty of weapons to choose from. And for God's sakes, we need secondary fire. Every weapon had a second. So almost every weapon had a secondary fire. And that was so friggin' cool. You didn't even know, like, one of, one of the rocket launchers, secondary fire was you guided the rocket on N64, dude! That was sick. Imagine what they could do now. Imagine what they could do now. And it just brings a lot of energy, a lot of hype to my imagination when it comes to the next Perfect Dark because Microsoft bought Rare, as you know. I had mentioned it in my video about the new Perfect Dark teaser trailer. And there's mega potential there. Truly, I think that the future of shooters is in a futuristic environment that is an arena style of shooter. I think if you have futuristic elements and you add creative gameplay, creative game modes, and then buff it up, like, Buff that shit up. Have customization. Online multiplayer. Have an awesome heads-up display. You will have the game of the century. Because all the first-person shooters, let's face it, guys. They're fun, but you know what? They're nothing new. Again, have a sip to that one. There's nothing new anymore. I want new. Future. What is next? Futuristic is the coolest thing. Because you never know what's coming next. And these artists... And developers, when they make these games, they will show you what's coming next. They will do some interesting gameplay, some awesome weapons and customization. I just, you know, I'm just... I'm saddened because I'm a first-person shooter extraordinaire. Okay, like back in the day, first-person shooters were a lot different than one another. There were a few that were the same, but now they're all the same. Of course, I'm grouping them together, but like the Battle Royales, yeah, they're a little different, but they're kind of still the same. Same with the Call of Duty and Homefront, and I love Battlefield more than Call of Duty, but it's still in that realm of like modern warfare, modern combat is what I call it. So it's not called like Call of Duty, modern warfare, modern combat. Oh, it's realistic desert warfare, you know, only only here and in maps all over the world, but it's real. It's quasi like arcade realistic. It's not realistic because you can get shot a bunch of times and, and not die, but then you get shot in the foot once. You know, it's not, it's arcade realistic, which is kind of the worst of both. Like if you want to play a realistic game, play a realistic game. If you want to play an arcade game, play an arcade game. And Call of Duty is kind of just this like whipped up. It's a little bit arcade, a little bit realistic. And then you, you go and you get all these stupid perks. And if you, you know why everyone plays Call of Duty? Because it's fucking easy. Easy. The game is easy to be okay online. I never had played that game before in my life. And as soon as I picked up Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, I'd go online Free-for-all was mostly my jam. I like to hold my own. I don't really care to have a teammate. I don't like relying on them. But I go into FFA, and I would demolish them. Sometimes I come in first, second, third, fourth. I never came lower than being in fourth place. And I was like, this game's whack. And I gave it enough of a shot. And again, I'm talking about multiplayer Call of Duty. I'm not hating on the campaign. I've actually heard it's pretty good. I haven't played it, but I do plan to eventually. Not hating on the zombies. Strictly the competitive aspect of multiplayer. <laughs> Ooh, Goose Fraba, right? Like, first-person shooters, we need them back. We need them futuristic. We need them arena-style, so they're actually made for competition. First-person shooters, in my opinion, have the most potential to be a futuristic sport. Like, Tron status. With the discs, throw them back like you have, like, an arena. Picture futuristic shooters slash laser tag with 3D virtual reality. Yeah, that's the future. I don't know where I could possibly go past that. So I'm going to end the video here. But yes, please bring back futuristic arena shooters. We really need them as the fans. We want competitive, futuristic, forward-thinking creativity art styles from the future. Bring it back. Just do it, guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again.